Hello everyone, my name is Jen from Music with Miss Jen, and today we are going to be learning some teaching ideas for La Cucaracha. My students love this song, they love the rhythmic, energetic music that goes along with the song, and they especially love the words when I introduce those to them. Here's how I introduce the song to begin with. Can you follow me? La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha. Wiggle, wiggle to the floor. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. Wiggle, wiggle some more. And I have my students echo those movements with me. And then I ask, does anyone know what la cucaracha is? Depending on the age of my students, I might give them some clues, such as it is an insect, it starts with the letter C, it's a friend that someone would not want to have in their kitchen. <laughs> and so after I give them those clues, I say, if you know what a la cucaracha is, take a C and put it on your head to show Miss Jen that you know what la cucaracha is. And so hopefully we'll have a student in the class who's able to share that la cucaracha is a cockroach. And that's when I share the English verse, uh, the first English verse of the song. The little cockroach, the little cockroach. Saw him just the other day. I like it best when he gets his things and gets his friends and moves away. <laughs> and we talk about how we're okay with cockroaches being outside. We don't want them to be inside. And so we are going to do our best in our song to encourage the cockroach to move along and take his friends with him. Now, one of the things that I love to do with this song is use a movement prop called a stretchy band. If you are unfamiliar with what a stretchy band is, you can find this wonderful movement prop at the company Bear Paw Creek, and you will find the website uh, right here on the screen. The stretchy band is a wonderful movement prop, and true to its name, it has a tremendous amount of stretch to it. It works great for small groups, medium-sized groups, large groups, and my favorite version of the stretchy band, it can come in different sizes, but my favorite is the adjustable uh, connect a band stretchy band. So this one is the version that has a little buckle on the inside, and this allows you to connect multiple stretchy bands so that you can adjust the size. This is one stretchy band on its own. You can adjust the size to adapt for the number of students in your program. So using our stretchy band now, we take some of those movements we practiced before. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. Wiggle, wiggle to the floor. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. Wiggle, wiggle some more. So those are um, some uh, cues for the students to remember what movements we're going to do with the stretchy band when we add the music. Some other movements that we do in the song, uh, when there is the instrumental break in the song, we will practice, it's right after the part where we learn that La Cucaracha likes to play in a band, and he likes to play the huiro. And so right after that part, when we talk about how he has the fastest moving hands, we wiggle our stretchy band and see how quickly we can wiggle it to the music. We will also practice some front and back um, and sometimes I explain that that is our way of shooing the cockroaches to another location. And last but not least, you can also try some bicycle movements where they're holding their hands and pretending that their hands are moving a bicycle wheel round and round. But there are so many different movements that you can explore with your students and have your students suggest what movements they would like to put in our song. One other idea for something that you can do in the song, and I mentioned that uh, in um, the second verse of the song, we learn about La Cucaracha and how he loves to play the huiro. If you have access to a huiro, this is a wonderful opportunity to introduce your students to this beautiful instrument. Uh, they come in different shapes and sizes, but often you will find a huiro shaped like a fish. It has different ridges. And so when you scrape the different ridges on the huiro, you will get different sounds. So it's a wonderful opportunity for the students to explore sounds, maybe discuss what each of those sounds reminds them of. 
And another great instrument that you might be less familiar with, so if this is the huiro, this is the huiro shaker. And a fun little fact that I like to share with some of my older students, percussion instruments are defined as being a percussion instrument because you can tap them, scrape them, and or shake them. The huiro shaker is the only percussion instrument that does all three. You can tap it, you can scrape it, you can shake it. So it's a super fun little fact for the students to explore all three ways of playing a percussion instrument. And now, are we ready to give this a try with the music? If you have a stretchy band with you, you can practice. Otherwise, you can use your hands just like I do when I introduce it to my students for the first time. That's our huiro. What's a, what's a, what's a cucaracha? It's a, it's a cockroach. <laughs> what's a, what's so you a, move what's a, what's a cucaracha? In the middle. It's a cockroach. <laughs> tap, tap with me. Tap, tap, tap with me. Wiggle. Same thing again. Wiggle. English first. I saw him just the other day. I like him best when he takes his things and he gets his friends and moves away. Here's our rhythm pattern. Tap, tap, tap with me. Wiggle. So all this repetition is so nice for your students to help them learn the choreography. And here's where we learn about the cockroach playing the huiro. Fastest moving hands. So we see how fast we can wiggle the stretchy band. Do some forward and back. And some side to side. Bicycle hands. And have your students make up their own idea for the last time. There's lots of resistance, so real easy to come up with some great movements. And just like the beginning. Here's our cockroach playing in the band. He likes to play up with the band. Last verse. I saw him just the other day. I like him best when he gets his things and he takes his friends and moves away. Ole! <laughs> Thank you for joining in with me, and I hope that you got some suggestions that you can use in your teaching situation. Have fun.